Hello guys, Mr. Dynamon2050 here, welcome to another video, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you, um, basically, if overclocking is worth it, I'm going to show you today some benchmarks, uh, we've been playing some games uh, with my GPU overclocked, and just running at stock, now a lot of you guys are actually wondering if overclocking is actually worth it, and if you actually get a significant performance increase. Now I've benchmarked multiple games today, and I'm going to show you some of my findings, and hopefully you guys will can kind of come to a sensible conclusion whether to overclock or not overclock your system. So first of all, this is the first graph I got from Battlefield 4. As you can see, um, the the performance increase is, is is okay, shall I say? And to be honest, you are you know moving up from 89 frames to 95 frames. Now I play on Ultra with a GTX 770 and a Core i5, mid-range i5. But yeah. 89 frames moves all the way up to 95 frames very very nice indeed and yeah you know you're getting them extra frames for me it just doesn't really matter my monitor is 60 hertz so stuff past 60 doesn't really affect me but the purpose of this benchmark is to sync off and yeah we weren't up by six frames so quite nice there indeed now moving on to a game such as need for speed the run as you can see um the stock is 131 and the overclocked result was 134 there wasn't a significant uh, result in here but as you can see it did go up i have overclocked the graphic card by 100 megahertz on both the memory and also the core clock so yeah i'm modest overclock if you guys wanted to go further your improvements in terms of the frames are going to be higher now moving on to the sims 3 i got an average of around 167 and then overclocked i got 208 so with sims 3 there's actually quite a high increase um compared to all the other games i've tested um typically because typically the sims 3 is um graphic card intensive the cpu doesn't really need to do much for the sims uh, it's quite a basic game shall i say but yeah the gpu having that extra kind of uh megahertz slapped on really does increase the frame which is very very nice as you can see 167 moved up to 208 very very nice indeed then moving on to the last game fire cry 3 my frame rate was 66.7 and then I overclocked and I got 68.3. As you can see, the, this one's in margin of error. There wasn't that much of an increase to say that it was actually, uh, you know, got to do with the increase of the core and memory clock. But as you can see, it does go up. But, you know, because it's so small, uh, yeah, you, you guys really won't, won't notice it. But I suppose you guys were getting the lower frame rates and have, like, you know, the lower end kind of computers and graphic cards and whatnot. You are going to benefit from, you know, a few extra frames, shall I say. Anyway, guys, that's going to conclude. I'm just going to put all of them onto the screen at once. And there we are. And yeah, as you can see, you get a performance increase. But, uh, yeah, it's not that high. And, yeah, some people think that you can get, like, a 25 or even a 30% a improvement. No. You literally get literally 5 to 10% only, and that's going to be about it. Since most cards are clocked at about a gigahertz, and if you are overclocking about 100 megahertz, you should get about 10% in performance increase, and you shouldn't get more than 10%. Sims 3 had a nice overclock. The other games within margin of error, shall I say. The Battlefield was also um, a significant increase. But as you can see, there you are. You guys can make a, a kind of final decision if you want to overclock. But as you can see, nice benchmarks and uh, yeah, hope this has kind of helped you into, um, shall I say, um, deciding if you want to overclock or not. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment and also subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.